Hey guys, Mr. Mark Cruz here, and as you can see, we're back with some MLO Master League Online. And I was looking at some players to buy after, of course, my successes in the in the uh, last matches, um, in the last episode. So I went out and looked at some players. I ended up getting rid of Galaska because I thought, well, Galaska's done. And I went out and bought Florenzi, who actually plays for AS Roma. And for whatever reason, offline, he doesn't have a real face for me, but online he does. So I was a bit confused by that, but... So I put into the aspect that Florenzi would most likely end up being quite a main starter for me because he's, re ra he's rated 80. But when I played with him, I thought he was a bit meh, really, to be perfectly honest. And we'll probably end up getting rid of him eventually because I just did not enjoy playing with him. I don't know what it was. I think it's the fact that he's right-footed, but he can he's good with his left foot. I think that's just something which always puts me off with players. I don't know why. I just don't know why. But in the first... We had, oh, today we actually have three matches for you. One of them is a... a guy quitting on us and the other two are actually really good matches to actually they were they were fun to play and they were fun to watch they're probably fun to watch as well but this guy this Bayern Munich dude he had Lukaku up front and that was really his only good player everyone else was more or less a default player Richard Harry at right back for whatever reason when you could easily play Pfizer Velen but fair enough and he had uh, Tinga as well I think his name was at left midfield so us playing in our ridiculously black and the grey checkered uh, away kit as here we got shot away in the first four minutes of the match <laughs> and I scored, I hate scoring goals like that but it's just so tempting to do it with nearly every goal, just aim it at your keeper. You will usually parry it out and Vidra's always there to pop in the back of the net but actually he scores with Van Berard, it's actually quite a nice decent volley into the top corner. But then literally 15-20 minutes later, about 15 minutes later, get the ball here eventually with Vidra. Vidra just pops it in the back of the net because Vidra's probably the most clinical striker you, I, I've ever had. I, I can't believe only like 17 people have him. But in the 14th minute, uh, 38th minute of the game, Griezmann, and uh, Griezmann, Griezmann, I wish I had Griezmann. Germain scores from a nice uh, nice little kick around the back. It was really weird because he hit with his left foot while he was turning right, so like the ball is on his right hand side and he turns and hits it with his left foot. It was quite weird, but it was quite an even game actually, but other than the scoreline, like, everything else was quite good. But here, basically, we, we ended up messing about for a bit as I sort of showed that the, he left the game. He didn't want to play the game for... Whatever, whatever reason after half time, I ended up just scoring a free kick with myself. I just pop it into the top corner because I wasn't. I, like basically, I got a free kick and I thought I'm not gonna, no point in missing it. Eh? So I just hit it right into the top corner and basically made it four one. And then the guy sort of he came back and he must have noticed that I scored a goal because then he kicked off and did, did whatever he wanted to do. But here, Jermaine does a nice little roulette turn. Doesn't really. He, he scores a goal, but I mean it's not really a skill goal, and they can't consider it a skill goal. And that was really it. Nothing else happened in the game. So we won 5-1, which is really, really good. I mean, here he was taking his time to set up the free kick, which he just hits over the bar. And considering that he did quit, well, he didn't quit. He just left the controller, like, hanging. He must have, like, had something else to do. Someone else must have, like, in real life must have told him, like, oh, I need you to come help me to do this. And fair enough. I wasn't really too, like, that weird about it, really. I just continued to play as I usually do. But, um, yeah, when I was... Uh, what was it? As you saw there, there was a little bit of a graphical glitch. I have no clue what that is about. I thought it was about the cables, and I checked the cables, and the cables are fine. So I thought maybe it's my television, but my television's fine. Maybe it's my PS3, maybe it's dying. It might be dying. Eh, yeah, I'm not going to be playing on it for too long. I, mean, I have a PS4 right there, but I will probably end up playing more on the PS4. I don't, there's not really much to play on the PS4, which is why I play, why I was still doing, uploading PES. I mean, yeah, well, I could upload Ground Zero, so that's that's great. And infamous, so that's even better. But yeah, when Phantom Pain comes out, I might upload that. But definitely hope PES 2014, uh, PES 2015 is going to be on the PS4. I mean, God, I don't want our game which is cross gen. It's just no cross gen. Make it only gen, only one gen, one generation. I mean, yeah, you cut out half, half your market, but it, if people want to play a good game, they might as well bloody go and play it. But this was a guy who ended up actually quitting, or, well, his internet must have died on him. Because I was gearing up to face a guy who basically was playing 3 1 1 4. And I thought, okay, this is going to be a difficult match. 3 1 1 4? 3 1 1 4 is. I don't know. No, 3 1 1 5. So I was gearing up to play a guy who was just going to pressure me a lot. So I was sort of. I was waiting for it. I was like, yeah, this is going to be a great game. And then it just came up saying establishing communications and it said that the match has been abandoned. And I thought, well, am I, am I really that good? No, I didn't think that. I generally thought, yeah, this guy, something must be wrong with his internet because it was fine with me. Like, I checked if I was still connected to the, to the internet in general. 
it was still there. So it must have been his connection which uh, killed it off with Konami. Or maybe he was trying a trying a ting and it didn't work out. So with that we got 8 more points so our rating went up even higher to 630. Of course to get to Super Star rating, you need 800 points I think it is. But I mean I was, I was sitting there and I was like 800 points. It's not that far away, but do I really care? Is really the perfect, perfect, on, perfect, honest question. Do I care? And I, I don't really care. Getting a higher rating doesn't mean anything in this game because you can have the highest rating and you'll still be considered a relatively, you can still be a relatively poor player with a rating of a thousand. You just be extremely fortunate in every match you play. But into the last match of this episode, it was against a guy at Barcelona, and if we'd won, we'd get two hundred eleven points. So we basically recoup more a majority of. Basically, from having bought Florenzi, we'd probably recruit quite a lot of the money, but the points we spent for him. So, I was looking at other players, and he had Kalunga up front, and I was like, oh, I know exactly what this guy's going to do. Like, he was just going to ping it through to him every single time. And that's basically what he did do. But he had uh, Seamus Coleman at le- right back. He had, uh, what's his name, Latoya in this field, Barreto, Tete. He had a very normal team, basically. He had a team which basically loads of people have. And it was. It's frustrating, really, because every single player is starting to have the same sort of players, and it's every single player I keep playing anyway seems to have very similar players. They don't have the same play style, but their players are very similar. But into the literally the first half, first half, literally nothing happened until this moment here. We made a run with Kalunga, and the ref should have blown the whistle because it is technically scores in the second minute of injury time. But Kalunga gets wrong and Kalunga scores, and I was really pissed off when I conceded it because I was like, oh my god, how the hell did I concede that? Because I, I knew it was coming. I don't know why I didn't decide to defend. I was just like, yeah, the ref will blow the whistle when he, hit, when he hits it. But nah, referee basically screws me over completely. But as you can see there, we went, there was only six shots in the first half, three of which were on target. One on target for him, which was the goal. And then in the 53rd minute here, I was trying to get to Pereira. I was trying to select him. For whatever reason, it selected Zicardo. And then I, I, I basically was just, I was all screwed. I was screwed over. And then again, it did the exact same thing again. When I was on the ball parade, I was like, select Zicardo. Select Zicardo too late, couldn't run back. And he ends up popping it in the back of the net. I believe with Kalunga once again. So, 3-0 down with 60 minutes with about half an hour left to play. I thought, okay, I'm going to go all out attack here. Try and get a goal back maybe. And I actually do end up getting a goal really quickly back with Lorenzo scoring his first goal for the club. With a nice little kick around the corner. And a little finesse shot as well. Then ended up injuring Kalunga for him. I didn't take him off. So he basically was playing with 10 men. And I thought, okay, I'll just uh, continue with what I've been doing, eh? So it comes to Florenzi here. Germain gets a shot. And I don't know how Cassio makes that save. But from the resulting corner kick hit. And Germain heads it down to Florenzi. Florenzi hits it off the crossbar. And Ricardo Fatty, the fake Yaya Turi, comes in and pops in the back of the net. Now, if this was any other game, I would be really pissed off. Because this guy started the time waste quite a lot. Like, actual time waste. You'll see in a moment what I'm talking about. Especially here. Instead of crossing it in, he ran to the byline try and get a corner, a corner kick or a throw in and that stupid thing happened it's one where you push the player over and I was so first, I was so pissed off but I was like it is in the game and I was actually too disappointed because I used to do that a lot in PES 2013 more in PES, less than in PES 2014 but a lot in PES 2013 I would be winning a game against a guy who's so plainly better than me and I would time waste and it, it's a viable tactic to be fair but Kalunga man a match so much bull crap. But yeah, basically from that we ended up face, we ended up losing twelve points. I don't know how that works. War ratings you get more points. I, I don't know. Got nineteen points for losing. Oh, good fun, Konami. Anyway, if you have enjoyed this episode of MLO, subscribe to my channel for more, and catch you later.